In this video, we'll be looking at date picker control, how to format the date value, how you can show it in a way you want. So if you look at the screen on this form, I have this uh, contract date, which is a date time field. And if I select this field, let me just zoom it out. This is a date picker control. You can see the default format, uh, which is MMDDYYY. So if you want to change this, how you can change it? For example, if you want, let me just, if you want it in a way, let's say DD, and you want to have the month to be specified in a text, and then YY like this or any other format like DD, MM, YY or MM, DD, YY. So how do we change the format of that date picker control? So let's have a look. So there is a property for the date picker control. If you look at the properties, there is a property called format and <clears throat> you can specify the value to this uh, property. There's a date time format. There is an enumerator available date time format dot you have to choose okay what format you want to show the value there are default formats available long date long date time uh, short date short date time 24 hours utc so you can use one of it uh, if it suits your requirement if it doesn't we can even use our own format so let me show you that in detail with example so if i switch to other screen now if i see I have specified the values here. This is an enumerator which you need to specify in the format property of the date picker control. And these are the enumerator values which you can use. So for example, if you use short date, this is how it will appear. MMDDYYY. If you use short date time, it will add the time as well at the end. Uh, here it is showing AM PM value as well. You can have the 24 hour, uh, hour time shown as well. Then you have long date. Uh, if you want to specify the day, month, year, everything you can specify. Then you have long date time. And then if you want to have your own format, what you need to do is just define how you want it. Uh, you have to use these characters, DD, MMM, YYY. And you can use the delimiter, either it could be hyphen or backslash or whatever you want. Or you can just keep a space as well in between. And then you can specify this as a string. So if I show you this, select this, go to the format field. You can see here, I've specified the format in a string, um, string way. So as a string variable. So you can specify dd hyphen mmm yy. So this will, this will present the date as what you see on the screen. If you want it in different way, like mm backslash dd backslash yy, so you can use this as well. So if I go and show it here. So it's not mandatory to use the default enumerator, which is, which is provided by default. Like this, if you see here, I've used date time format dot long date time. So it's not mandatory to use that. You can you, you can specify the format in string uh, variable as well. Well, that's it in this video. I hope this small tip will help you guys. Um, stay tuned for the next videos. See you soon. Bye.